Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are going to do a video on analyzing the cam and crank sensor signal. So we're going to do an analysis of these uh, waveforms. Now on, uh, on screen, as you can see, this is a typical uh, cam and crank signal taken from my library. Now, uh, this particular signal was um, this is this is I forgot I really don't know which which car this belongs to, but this is uh, it's a good signal. Uh, now, I want you to pay attention to the correlation between cam and crank, and I'm going to show you a few. This is an older vehicle that that much I know. Uh, so, as you can see, uh, and this is a similar vehicle. Uh, the bottom uh, waveform is the, the cam sensor, and the upper waveform is the crank sensor. We're going to do, we actually recorded a, uh, a complete uh, 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 waveform analysis, of actually a waveform on the scope, and we're going to play that for you towards, uh, uh, in, in, a, in a little bit, towards the, uh, in, the in the middle of the, of, of, the, uh, uh, of the video. Okay, so again, this is the relationship between cam and crank. The upper one is the crank. The lower, the lower one is the uh, the cam sensor. Now, <clears throat> on the next uh, shot that we have, we're going to show you how to use these two uh, uh, signals to know or to correlate them, uh, and to know whether you have a uh, a jumped timing belt or a stretched timing belt, timing chain, and so on and so forth. Now, as you can see on screen, we're going to use the uh, original. Uh, you know the software that we've always been using uh, now Pay attention to these two pulses at the bottom. This this is this is the cam understand one thing for every revolution of the cam uh, For it's half a revolution of the crank so the crank turns twice Okay for per every uh, cam revolution so the cam turns twice the crank turns once, okay? And this is important, okay? Because if you have a jumped or a stretched timing belt, you're going to know right away. And I'll, I'll show you how uh, uh, later on in the video. Now, as you can see, the top signal belongs to a uh, crank sensor. Uh, and, and it's always like that. It's always, uh, you know, you're going to have a bunch of pulses on the crank signal and a few pulses on the cam signal. Uh, because this, the cam signal, all it wants to do it's tell the ECM uh, number one top dead center from uh, from number one top dead center. Now this is this is I mean this is why I, I actually show I'm showing you this. It, this two pulses of the cam represents a complete crank revolution, okay? And this is important uh, because of of the fact that you have to know how many pulses you're going to get of the crank per cam uh, pulse, okay? And that's going to determine uh, for many reasons. Uh, and in between the cursors here that you see, uh, this is a complete, uh, again, a complete crankshaft revolution, okay? Now, uh, if the timing chain or the timing belt is stretched, and this is the purpose, really, of this, uh, of this video, uh, to allow you to uh, determine if you have a stretched timing belt or timing chain without doing major disassembly by just looking at the cam and crank. Now, uh, you, you don't know that right now, but I want to show you how uh, in a little bit. Uh, but anyhow, let, let me just uh, uh, explain to you the relationship of, of cam and crank. Now, this is one pulse uh, on screen. Per, every, per, per pulse, you're going to see a couple of pulses on, on the crank. Now, remember that the crank sensor has a reluctor wheel uh, with a bunch of little teeth. Uh, this is called the reluctor. These, the little teeth are, are, are called, as again, this reluctor has a correlation. You're supposed to have X amount, and, and I'm, I can't tell you how many because it depends on the year, make a model, uh, uh, and the engine size of whatever you're, you're fixing, you're, you're diagnosing. It doesn't really matter. You have to have yourself uh, a, uh, a signal, uh, a good signal library. This is a must. Okay, 
if not, you look it up online. Now, these days, uh, 20 years ago when I started doing this, you know, there was nothing uh, online. Uh, even Google wasn't that, <laughs> that great back then. <coughs> so, again, we're looking at half a crank um, uh, revolution, uh, one cam revolution, and th th we just changed it. Now, you su you what you do is you count the number, two things that you're supposed to do, either count the number of cycles uh, that you see on the crank, okay, or the numbers of cycles that you see on the cam, in between the cam pulse, okay. And w again, I want to show you later on, I have actually have two uh, uh, shots that I did, uh, and I'm actually going to show you how to do that. As you can see on screen, uh, what, w what you're looking at is a, a snapshot, a screenshot of the uh, cam and crank uh, correlation and right now I'm counting five uh, crank pulses per cam pulse this is one this is one way to do it okay now this is supposed to be not supposed to be this is a recorded uh, waveform from a good known cam and crank this is a running engine uh, there was nothing wrong with it okay and I think I believe this is an older vehicle too uh, when I say older uh, early 2000s you know uh, again, now next, uh, we're going to see this, this is a, now you have two uh, crank um, pulses or cycles, you know, per cam pulse, okay? This uh, shows, uh, and this, is, this was a really, really, really awful running car, and this shows a stretched timing chain. This was actually, I think it was a Nissan, if I remember correctly, this is a Definitely a stretch timing change. Sure enough, we pulled that out, and it was a disaster. Even the tensioner was, uh, all the guys were, were worn out, horrible. Uh, so, and this is, so this is an easy way to do it. Again, uh, you can also count the number of pulses, like we showed you before. Uh, you, what you do is you go between, you go two crank, two cam revolutions, okay? And then you count the number of pulses on the crank, okay? And that also tells you, but then you, you have to have a good known waveform. Once you, you get used to, uh, um, you know, doing this stuff, you're going to be, uh, you're, you're going to know more or less. You can also look at the um, crank, a uh, reluctor, and right away you count the number of, of, of teeth, you know, on the reluctor, and right away you know because these uh, pulses on the crank sensor are, this is the exact number of teeth that, that you have on the, on the crank. Okay. Now, it it's a little bit of work, but it's a lot it's a lot easier. It's a lot better than doing the disassembly and, and tearing down the engine uh, just to find out that there's nothing wrong with the cam, and y your issue is something else. Okay. So again, this is uh, another one of those uh, things that you can do with the oscilloscope, and which saves a lot of time. Okay. And that way, you'll be able to. Uh, um, but definitely do a lot with your diagnostics that way. Uh, so uh, anyhow, this is uh, has been uh, this is uh, the series that we're, we're running now. It's a cam uh, oscilloscope. Um, right now we're doing the cam and crank correlation uh, signal analysis, but this is uh, an oscilloscope uh, series that we're doing. Uh, again, uh, on screen you, you you know we show you exactly what you, we showed you before. Uh, uh, the correlation, how to tell, uh, tell whether you have a stretch timing chain. We'd like to thank you for tuning into our videos on our channel, ADP Training. Uh, do a search on Google for automotive diagnostics and publishing. Subscribe to our website. We're always putting out free stuff, okay? And uh, again, tomorrow we're, we're, we're doing another, another campaign, and we're, I think we're giving out a, a free software, okay? So thank you for tuning into our, to our channel, and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, 
is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.